Well, hello. It's really good you can join us again. Today we've got some really fantastic stuff. We've got some craft, we've got some prayers, we've got some singing, we've got a talk. We've also got the legendary, the fantastic, the extraordinary and wonderful Milo the Mouse. The Adventures of Milo Mouse Milo, 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 Jesus said, You are the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on its stand and it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. Hello everybody, it's really lovely to be back with you again today. Today we're going to be hearing what Jesus says we are. Because do you remember we've done a little series of what Jesus said he was. He was the good shepherd and he was the gate for the sheep and he was the true vine. Today we're going to be looking at things that Jesus said we are. And one of the things that he said we are is the light of the world. He said you are the light of the world. Now, does that seem a bit familiar? Because it does to me. I'm sure Jesus said he was the light of the world, didn't he? He said, I am the light of the world. And now here he is saying, you are the light of the world. Well, who's the light of the world? Is it Jesus, which I thought it was? Or is it us? Let's just think back a bit. At the beginning of the world, in Genesis, when it talks about the beginning of the world, it says God made us in his image. He made us to be like him. So maybe that's both right. Maybe God is the light of the world. Jesus is the light of the world. And because we're made like him, we're the light of the world. That would make sense, wouldn't it? But it's not our light that we're shining. Because somewhere else in the Bible it says the true light, that's Jesus, that comes into the world gives light to all people. So we're shining with the light that Jesus gives us. Aha, so we are the light of the world with the light that Jesus gives us. Now, what would happen if somebody had a light and they had a lovely bowl like this and they said, I've got such a lovely light, I'm going to keep it safe under this bowl. Whoa, now that doesn't work, does it? How can we be the light of the world, which is what Jesus says we are, if we've got a bowl over us? It doesn't work at all. You have to take the bowl off and then we can shine. We can shine for God. What does that mean? To not be hiding away our light. Well, I think the other thing in that passage, which, which we heard earlier, is Jesus said, you're the light of the world. Let your good deeds shine before people so that they can see them and glorify God. So that they can see the way we live our lives, the things we do for others, the way that we live with God in friendship. And they, they can go, wow. What are you pointing me to? You're pointing me to an even bigger light. You're pointing me to God. I want to know more about God. So I think that's what it means. We are the light of the world. 
says Jesus. You are the light of the world. But if you've got a light, you don't hide it under a bowl. You put it on a lampstand so that everybody can see your good deeds, can see the way you live your life and can see the pointing towards an even bigger light, the light that gave us light, the light that allows us to shine out to other people. So yes, Jesus is the light and yes, we are the light and let us shine for him. Yeah, yeah, this little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine, I'm gonna put it on a stand, I won't give up the fight, I'm gonna stand for courage, I won't be discouraged, gonna stand in the truth and that the truth is knowledge, I am blessed and blessed and blessed to have a love like this, like this, like this. Yes, I am a son of the king, I know that I'm accepted Have a destiny, and I won't be rejected I want you to feel it, so that is why I say this I let it out, spit these bars, making God famous I'ma let it shine, little light of mine Put the news on a stand and I won't let it hide So you can come and ask, and I will tell the truth Cause my story stands before you and it's living proof If he did it for me, then he'll do it for you He's knocking on the door, so what you gonna do? This little light of light of mine This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine We'll testify and live my life The grand design, I believe it Yeah, you're the reason why Now I see it, no longer faking, no longer confused So I give you praise cause I love what you do Cause you give me something people don't understand Yep, you know you make me wanna be a better man I'm gonna go out and talk to your people Yes, 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 I'm gonna talk to your people Give them the chance to get up and to hear the truth and the truth is you're the reason why I'm breathing cool. This little light of light of mine I'm gonna let it, let it shine generation is it gonna be your motivation all you gotta do is start a conversation do you want to be sent to the nation are you gonna change your generation is it gonna be your motivation all you gotta do is start a conversation Right, now we're going to make a craft. We're going to make a sun catcher. Now I'm going to give you two different types because you might not have everything for one of them, so then you can do the other one. The first one we're going to make, I think you'll be aware of, which is you have a piece of card like that. Draw on it the shape of a candle like that. Can you see? Okay, and you also need some tissue paper, bits of tissue paper and some glue. You draw on the shape of the candle and you cut it out. Okay, so you've got the hole. And then you take some prick stick or some other glue like that, put it round the outside like this, so it's all nice and sticky. 
and then just stick bits of tissue paper over it and draw strips or however you want to do it. You can do, I don't know how else you could do it, you could do it like that, it's a diagonal, or you could do it straight across. You could layer them however you want to do it until it's finished. Okay, and I'll show you mine at the end. The other way that we're going to do this is we're going to take a piece of card or a piece of paper, any kind, some sunflower oil or any other kind of oil, actually, I'll just use sunflower oil. Something that you can dip into the oil, I've got a cotton bud. And then with that oil, you draw a candle or any other kind of light. Use quite, to be generous with your oil. Be generous with your oil. And the idea is that as you paint it onto the card, it will make the card translucent. That means that the card will shine light through it where you've got the oil on it, okay? So be generous with your oil because the, the oil makes the card, soaks into the card and lets the light come through. I'm also going to draw some little rays coming through it. You could try writing you are the light of the world or something on it as well. I did try that, but it turns out that cotton buds are not that good at writing, would you believe it? So I'm not doing it this time. There we go. Right. And I'm, <coughs> I'm going to show you both against my window. So here is one. Can you see it? The sun shining through. I put it up a little too early. So do you see the oil's just dripping a bit? You don't need to do that. You can wait till it's dried. And here is the other one. A bit bigger. So I have to hold this bit further back. There we go. Two things that you can try to just remind us that we've been made to be the light of the world. For our prayers today, we're going to be using our hands again. We've done these before, but they're a really good way of thinking about what to pray about. First, we're going to start with our thumbs. We're going to think about those people who are close friends and family. Let's do that now. Heavenly Father, we thank you for friends and family. Look after them all, please. Keep them safe because we love them so much. Secondly, it's the pointing finger. We're going to pay, pray now for those people who are leaders in our lives, maybe teachers and people like that. Heavenly Father, we pray for our teachers in our school. Thank you for the important work they do and look after them as well, we pray. Well, next, we're going to use our tall finger. We're going to pray for people in authority, people in charge, people with big responsibilities. Heavenly Father, we pray that you would give wisdom to all those people who are in power with positions of responsibility. We pray especially for the police and for our government. Help them to do the right thing when they make their decisions. Next, we get to our ring finger. That's the weakest finger. So we're going to people pray for people who maybe find life hard. Heavenly Father, we pray for those people who are sick, those people who are ill, those people who live in poverty, those people who are treated badly. Heavenly Father, give them strength, we pray. And then finally, our little finger. We come at the last to ourselves. Heavenly Father, we know that you love us completely. Help us to be more like you this week, we pray. Amen. Well, I hope those prayers were fantastic. I hope you have a chance to make the craft. I hope you enjoyed Milo the Mouse and I really hope we get to see you again soon. Bye bye.